Welcome back everyone, Maverick here. We'll be picking up on Statue the 10th level of GoldenEye 007 N64. Okay, so, again, like I've done before, I accidentally <clears throat> beat it on a practice run so Archives is unlocked. But make no mistake, we're on Statue the 10th level, and after we beat it, we'll be halfway done with this game. So we're in St. Petersburg, Statue Park. Statue Park on this game is actually inspired by a real-life park in Moscow called Fallen Monument Park. Okay, the objectives contact Valentin Zukolsky, confront and unmask Yanis, locate helicopter, rescue Natalia, which hold the phone for one second. We literally just rescued Natalia from Bunker 2. She was our uh, neighbor, our cellmate neighbor in the prison hold, and we got her out. Now the very next level you're telling me I have to rescue her again? Ridiculous. Alright, find a flight recorder. Okay, so this is following the Severnaya incident. And my six has lost track of the pirate tiger helicopter. Oh, nice job, in my six. In briefing. Not much. Q branch, no gizmos. Thank god. Money pity. Hmm, a damsel in distress. Just be careful with that chopper, James. Now, Money Penny doesn't have much to say here, and can you really blame her? Because we just rescued Natalia, and Money Penny is having to come up with some crap again to say uh, another another girl to rescue, but it's just the same girl, anyways. Statue Park, Saint Petersburg. Now we start this level out in the open. Wow. Didn't take long for these cats to find us. Now this is presumably a public park. And I'm just rolling around firing my unsilenced PP7 at these guys. That's oh my god. A lot of these guys, more than I remember. Okay. Who did that? Okay, it's a bit labyrinthian in the sense that you do have you can find dead ends. And if you get turned around, take a wrong turn, start backtracking. Uh, this level can be really annoying. It's dark too. God, not the third grenade. Did he get that fuse off? I think I picked it up actually. And I would say there's uh it's easy to get turned around. Which is a bit unusual because there's a lot of landmarks, and maybe there's too many landmarks. That's what makes it difficult. You know, if you have too many landmarks, or really any of them landmarks, uh, probably not. But it's an overall easy level. Oh, I almost got turned around. I'll have to go this way. Okay, so inside this red shipping container is Valentine, whose suit is an entire pixel. Now I've never been interrupted in here by a soldier, so... Okay, ex-KGB agent to Valentine. Never thought I'd be helping you. Yanis will meet you by Lenin's statue. Beware him, he is a Leon's Cossack traitor. Now I must leave. So that statue we saw at the intro screen is actually a statue of Vladimir Lenin. Okay, so let's get going. A lot of imposing statues here, with some imposing music, I like how they paired that. Okay, now don't miss this hand, because by this hand is a body armor. And we're gonna need it, because the Yanis, Yanis guards have shotguns, and they take off two bars of health, which is right up there with the Moonraker laser. It's one of the most powerful damage-inflicting weapons in the entire game. 
So put your gun away. If you pull out your gun prematurely, well if you don't put it away he'll ask you to put it away. If you pull it out prematurely, uh, you'll fail this part of the mission. Good evening, 007. No gun? MI6 must be cutting their budget. Alex got jokes. Okay, as soon as you complete the mission, you can whip out your gun. Yeah. This guy's got purple hair, that's cool. And these guys are tough. You know what? This guy's got white hair. I like these guys. Not like gray hair, like an old person. Like, he bleached it. These guys have style. They're all black, uniforms, body armor, shotgun. I like these cats. Okay. Let's get rolling. There's a timer, but as with most timers in this game, it doesn't really do much. Invisible barrier. Man, okay. Uh, this level's so short. Geographically speaking, there's not a lot of ground to cover, so... We'll be fine with our three minutes. Okay. Well, I say that, it's because I know exactly where to go. If you get turned around, well, I guess you'd have to get turned around several times to not make a minute mark. But I'm sure it's happened, you know. I'm sure somebody's run out of time. I, have, I guess when you run out of time, the helicopter explodes and kills Natalia. Okay, you can hear the helicopter. There it is. And Natalia's just passed out. So once you get close, it runs down to 15 seconds, which is nice. Oh, she's awfully casual. Come on. Now, don't let these guys come up on you because during one of my practice runs, look at that, that's nice. Uh, they threw a grenade and killed Natalia. So they might not be. Able to, they might look at that. Two bars of health, one shot. Two, two more bars. All right. So once that thing blows up, the helicopter blows up. Uh, there's a flight recorder. It can spawn here. Spawn over there, it can spawn over here. There's like four places it can spawn, so it's not here. It looks like a big block of cheese. It'll stand out in this otherwise dark level. There it is. Okay, God, I gotta grab it and go. Running low on body armor. Okay, so I think that's it. When we go to the gate up here, we should meet Dimitri Mishkin, who's the defense minister. Do not shoot him. Whatever you do, don't shoot him. This guy will light you up, you'll fail the mission. Here he is. He'll start talking to you if you don't go through the gate. <laughs> Look at that aggressive pose for such casual conversation. Alright, let's go. Well, they let me keep my shotgun. Okay. Killed 21 people. The accuracy was pretty darn good. Probably because I can't miss with the shotgun. Okay, so last time I was trying to figure out if there was a pattern to the time target cheat. And I said there was, I couldn't figure it out. It turns out there is. The mistake I was making is I was starting with agent on dam, but really it starts on secret agent. So the time target cheat for dam is secret agent. Then it goes double O agent, agent, secret agent, double O agent, agent, secret agent, double O agent, agent, secret agent. So statue is going to be secret agent. And we'll have 3 minutes and 15 seconds to beat this. So let's do it. Sickle and hammer. I like that statue. I like the dark sky. I hated this level as a kid. And actually, I kind of still hate it. <sighs> Let me tell you why I hate it. You know, I'm just going to skip all these guys while I tell you why I hate this level. I hate it because in the movie, what leads up to this level is a soiree between James Bond and Xenia Antop and Asana. One of the best scenes in cinema history. And then Xenia actually brings James Bond to Statue Park. And because Xenia is one of the best femme fatales to ever grace the silver screen, 
in this game just keeps uh, nixing her at every moment. I kind of really resent this level for that reason. For example, they got rid of her on the frigate, and she was even mentioned in the mission dossier. Uh, they don't include her in any of the bunker missions, where she actually helps Ormov ignite Goldeneye for the Severnaya incident. Uh, they haven't included her here, in this level, even though in the movie she's at the start of this level. And more importantly, they could have made an entire level at like a hotel where things are going good and then you have to like, fight her in the sauna area. It's like a mini boss. Um, but they didn't choose to do that either. So they've taken one of the best characters uh, in cinema history for a femme fatale and uh, just decided not to include her. Just about every point they could, could have included her. <sighs> so with that thought lingering, and this otherwise easy, dark, a little bit pointless level, um, yeah, it's not going to get high marks from me. Okay, I'm just going to try to sprint past these guys Barry Sanders style once the ob objective is completed. Wow, I had 80 something percent percentage with my shotgun and said you couldn't miss. Uh, but those guys are missing pretty hard. Look at this guy. Faster than uh, 006. Anyways, he's invincible. Don't even bother trying to kill him. He'll just lead you astray. Okay. Wow. I almost got turned around there. It is possible. So, if I'm cutting it close on the time target sheet, one thing that could help us out is a favorable spawn for the flight recorder. There is a spawn for it that's like right here at the foot of the hill. That would probably save us like 5 to 10 seconds. Okay. This proximity fuse, I think, is just here to, uh, Save us some time so we don't have to wait. I don't know. Seems like if they really wanted it to blow up, they could have just done it right when I got close to it. Anyways, I should have been running down the hill to save some time while that counted down. I don't think it'll hurt us, though. Okay, where's that big yellow block of cheese? There it is. Okay. Got it. Get the sky. Reminds me of Severnaya. Love it. Okay. Dimitri's got Natalia. Let's just bust through here. Did I kill anyone? That guy's KF7 is upside down. Wait a minute. Hold on. We gotta replay that. We, we gotta replay that. His, his KF7 was upside down. So, sure enough, uh, the guy on the far left... Uh, for whatever reason has his KF-7 and he's holding it upside down. Um, you know, there was a phenomenon in the late 90s, early 2000s called laser tag. It may still be around, I don't know. But in its early days, the sensors on like the chest plate were in a position such that if you held your laser tag gun upside down and fired the trigger with your pinky, you had a greater chance of hitting your opponent. Um, but this isn't laser tag. That's exactly how this guy is holding his gun, and that's what re it reminds me of. Uh, maybe he knows something we don't, uh, or maybe he's a complete buffoon. It's hard to tell. He's either a genius or an idiot, but he is holding his KF-7 upside down. Wow. I didn't make it. Um... Damn. Missed it by 18 seconds. Um, let's see. I guess that was... Okay, well, let's try it again. It's been a long time since we didn't make it since the facility. Okay. <clears throat> we got 333 and we need 315. I think we can shave off 18 seconds. I think we can gotta strafe a lot more. Drop 
thought I was strafing a lot last time. Okay, come on, Valentine. Let's get going. Come on, man. You know what other uh, other level they could have done that didn't with uh, Xenia is they could have had a nice like race level where she's in her Ferrari at the first and you're in your Aston Martin. That would have been so cool. But no, probably wasn't even an afterthought for them. Um, whoever made this game really didn't have the same love for that character that I do. Oh god, I'm trying to go fast and I went up that ramp. Not even gonna get the body armor. I'm just gonna go for it. Going full speed. Maybe if I get closer here, I can get a little bit of a jump start. Come on. Objective B completed. Alright. Let's roll. I don't think I take the fastest route here. I think that's not helping. But um, if I don't get it this time, I might have to devise a new route. I'm curious to see if that guy's KF7 will be upside down. Is that some kind of tell? That only happens when you don't get the time target cheat? I don't know, that was weird. I never noticed that. Now last time the uh, block of cheese flight recorder wasn't in the most favorable spot. I had to do full loop down here, so... And I didn't run down the hill after getting Natalia up. Well, I don't know if you have to come over here or not for her to walk this way, but here we go. Okay, I haven't even pulled my gun out. I'm not on the offensive. I'm going straight speed. Oh, look at that. Okay, it doesn't get any better than that. Oh, Natalia hasn't even been captured yet. Well, okay. No comment. Wait. Dimitri wasn't even there. What is going on? I didn't fire a single shot. Okay, beat it by 14 seconds. We shade off more than 18. That's good. That's great. Um, what did we get, though? I honestly have no idea. Fast animation. How's that different than turbo mode? Okay, I'm, I'm just going to have to put on fast animation only to figure out what the heck that is. Fast animation. How's that different than turbo mode? I don't know, let's find out. Fast motion? I said fast motion was on, but how's that different than turbo mode? Okay, I guess these guys are moving faster. I guess turbo mode, I'm the one that moves faster. And this, they're moving faster. Every animation, I guess, is quicker. That's an unusual distinction that the programmers decided to make. These cats have time to make a difference between fast animation and turbo mode, but they don't have time to put Xenia on a top, one of the best characters in GoldenEye in this game more. Give me a break. Okay. Well, that's fast animation. Let's see how the grenade launcher looks on it. Wow, that's a hectic battlefield when you put on fast animation. Okay, so now we've beaten Dam, Facility, Runway, Surface, Bunker, Silo, Frigate, Surface, Bunker, and Statue. We're exactly halfway through the game. Of course, these last two you have to unlock by beating uh, the levels on certain difficulties. And let's see, next we'll do Archives. So, Statue, um, another pretty forgettable level along with Surface 2, but um, we beat it, so... That's it for this time, and I will uh, see you next time, gang.